Hello, pocket knife community, knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Hold it here. Yes, sir. 365 all day. <laughs> 365 all day, every day. That's the number I got. So, you know, the GMs are all numbered. The GMs are numbered, and I got number 365. So it's 365 out of 400. So this is, uh, I nickname my favorite knives <laughs> all day, every day. Yeah, 365. <laughs> it's hot. I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah, this is a nice knife. Um, yeah, it's a nice knife. Uh, giant mouse. So I'm going to tell you, uh, it definitely is a little smaller than I anticipated. Um, I should say thinner than I anticipated. It's like a, um, it's like a huge gentleman's knife, <laughs> you know? Um, but having said that, <clears throat> you know, that's okay. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily put this in a class uh, even though the blade is magna cut and we know magna cut is tough and it's got all the edge retention and all the qualities of magna cut, but, um, it's a button lock. Button locks are light duty by nature. P folding knives by nature are light duty, but a button lock is definitely light duty. And that's what this is for. It is a very nice polished instrument. Um... The reverse flicks nice, the detents nice. Uh yeah. Fit and finish is very good. Uh blade is perfectly centered. All day, every day. Um so yeah, so Giant Mouse came out with this uh the new GM twelve. And uh, I chose the GM-12, not the GMP-12. Reason being the GMP-12 uh, is two ounces heavier. And two ounces heavier. And the, um, the scales are, aren't titanium. They're bronze. You know, bronze is heavy. Brass, bronze, copper. Um... Bronze and brass being alloys of copper, but they do hold maximum weight. So all the dimensions being equal, the GMP is two ounces heavier. So I just went for the um, the titanium. And this, this knife is 4.4 ounces, and it feels even lighter than that in hand. It definitely feels even lighter than that. It feels light. And it should smilled, milled out. Let me get my flashlight so we can see in here good. Hold on. Yeah, it's um. Where is my time on here? Uh. Yeah, it uh. And um, you can see that it's weight saving inside on both sides, weight saving. The, uh, man, this is terrible. The number is 365 uh, out of 400. I can't get this thing to focus. I'm not going to, I can see it, guys. Trust me, <laughs> it's 365. And, um, yeah, so we have a straight trail point type blade here, uh, with a, uh, crown spine. It's got jimping in a very nice area. And I'm gonna tell you, this is really good jimping. Yeah. Really has good traction. Yeah. They did good. They did very good on both of these. This is the 11. This is the 12. 
they did uh they did very good with the jimping on this knife really good uh front uh finger choil is nice very generous you know good all knocked down chamfered off edges and i love the way they did the uh bronze around the uh main pivot and the deployment um button so this is giant mouse first uh venture in a button lock all the gms up until now have been frame locks and it's a true button lock you know it is a true true button lock see that yeah, that's all that holds that blade. So, button locks, uh, if you didn't know, are light duty. They are the antithesis of <laughs> the triad lock being heavy duty. But button locks have really good fluidity. I mean, they can just flip in and out, you know, whereas the triad lock is much more, um, you know, rigid of a locking system. That's why the shark lock is so amazing because it's as fluid as a button lock, but as strong as a triad lock. But back to this. So they did a, they did a bronze backspacer, uh, pivot collars and button. Uh, I like the micro milling on the, um, on the scales. And the fact that this, these scales are very contoured. They have contouring this way and this way. So it's it's very contour. You can see the bulge uh in the design of it. And it's a it's a it has a flipper tab along with the button. So there's multiple forms of deployment. You can deploy it with a button, of course. You can deploy it, you can reverse flick it, and you can you can use the flipper tab. Uh ergos are fantastic because of the way that the scales are contoured. It's extremely comfortable in hand, whether you choke up or whether you're back here. Uh, I have hands probably bigger than most. I have a little bit of a, um, you know, hang off, but it, it's not bad. It's a sub eight, eight inch knife. It's not quite eight inches, just shy of eight inches uh, in total length. But it's close enough to that sweet spot of eight inches to be, um, you know, to be okay. I love the way they did the handle. The index, the, the initial index on the handle is extremely generous. And when you use the front choil uh, and that index becomes the middle finger, then um, that comfort is, uh, is not lost there either, I must say. The uh, backspacer, very nice, very nice touch. Uh, the GMP version is all black. I wish they would have added some type of coloring to it. Like the fact that they made the knife just completely black, like there's no highlights or accents to it, um, kind of turned me off from the knife. Uh, but I also, I also have the blackout edition of the Jutland. This knife actually, uh, let me get my Jutland. This knife re reminds me of the Jutland. This is very close to the Jutland, as a matter of fact. Hold on a second. Yeah, I mean, it's my Jutland right here. Very, very close, these knives. Um, to be honest with you, uh, the only real difference is the Jutland, I think, is a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, it is a little longer. Um, the deployment, if they have the, the kidney shaped, uh, deployment hole and the Jutland has a completely oval hole. Uh, this has a bigger front choil. This does not have a uh, finger choil, it has a sharpening choil. So they added the choil and this trail point is sort of like a clip style trail point, upswept Persian, upswept Arabian, however you want to uh describe it uh whereas this is a straight uh trail um but aside from that the knives are very similar in in um stature uh you know matter of fact the gm8 i think this is uh the jutland is 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 cousin to the gm8 um 
and this would be very close. They almost made a GMA instead of being a uh, frame lock, made it a button lock with a little bit more fizzazz, I would say, to the handle. You know, but they're very close. But like I said, if uh, the GM12, the GMP12 had some highlights like this, you know, I love this. This blackout edition with the with the pivot collar in brass and the backspacer in brass has a really nice touch. But if it was just all black, I uh, I need a little bit of highlighting to my my stuff, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, really, 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 really nice. Um, I would call it a big gentleman's knife. I wouldn't necessarily put this in the same category as you know, my bigger knives, you know, um, Magnum Opus is clearly a bigger, taller knife than this, you know, um, you can just, uh, they're kind of in the same class, but they're not, this is, like I said, a little bit thinner, much thinner knife, um, yeah, so, uh, looks like we got T8s, uh, all the way around here. Where's my, uh, there it is. Oh. looks like, uh, we got T8s back here. Is this an eight? Yeah, this is a T8. Yeah, it is T8s. And the main pivot is also a T8. So yeah, Giant Mouse listens. You know, they, 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 they definitely are paying attention over there in Giant Mouse. Yeah, so they just made the whole knife T8s. I mean, you could see just a short time ago. Let me go grab uh, um, my GMP5. See, uh, my Magnum Opus GMP5. Um... Just a few short years ago. Actually, it might be 2017, to be honest with you. So it wasn't that. It's pretty long time ago. Um, was it 17? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, as you can see, they have uh, they were using T6s back then. I'm pretty sure this is pretty sure. T8. No, it's a T6 in here. Pretty sure these are sixes. And yes, they are. And the main pivot is an eight. I'm pretty sure of that. So, you know, they could have, if they made this knife today, they definitely would have used uh, T8s all the way around with, with this. But as you can see, um, Giant Mouse loses nothing in the design, um, in the craftsmanship, in the fit and finish by going with the bigger T8s. I think a lot of manufacturers back then was like, they wanted to use the smallest screws as possible, you know, because of the fit and finish, the aesthetics of the knife. T6 is just pain in the ass. So, but yeah, no, it, it, it looks really good. So, but as you can see, uh, the, the GMP5 is, is a more uh, robust knife. It just is, it just, it's just, the blade is taller, the handle is taller. It, it feels more full in hand. You know, it, it really is. Um, but, um, yeah. yeah. It feels good, though. So, all right. You know, the jury's out on it. Um, Yeah, actually, the pocket clip. Yeah, pocket clip. Excellent. The same pocket clip from the... Uh, the 11. Yeah, same pocket clip, uh, GM. Yeah, from the GM 11. Um, as you can see in the uh, old, older style they used with the, um, the five and the five. But they've changed their clips over the years. Giant mouse. Nines, we're using these. See, yeah, I think it's five. The GM8, what type of clip was on the 8? Yeah, the 8 had a, a a clip like this. So, yeah, I think it was a GM9. I'm on the website now that they started using um, 9. Yeah, 9, they started using these. 
These are better clips. I, I love the way this looks, though, on Magnum Opus. I love the way this looks. Um, it's a big, stout, diesel clip. You know, these work really good in pocket, though. Really good. So, but, uh, yeah. I mean, this knife is, you know, it's not replaceable, really. Number 10 of 100 made and never to be made again. So, I'm very proud of this knife. But, um... But yeah, man, I got my 12. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So far, I, I like it a lot. You know, really, really looks good. It's going to be a nice cutting knife also because it's got the stone finish. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to baby it. You know, you can use it a little bit. So anyway, all right. That's all I got. Thanks.